Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to start a new series on how to create your build script for your application using Nant. We are going to start off this episode and show you the basics of creating your first script, which will be used to simply compile your source code. In future episodes, we'll extend this script to do things such as run our test, run code coverage, pub publish our output to a directory, and much more. Before we get started, what is Nant? Nant is a free.net build tool. It is kind of like the tool Ant that is used by the Java community. If you want to grab the latest copy of Nant, I would encourage you to visit nant.sourceforge.net. I am using the 0.86 beta version at this point in time. Now I've already gone ahead and downloaded the, source, the binaries for this. And I've actually already created a folder called Tools Nant, and I will put all the output of this inside this uh, directory. Nant.exe is the executable you need to run or to execute Nant scripts. Before we get started, what I actually want to do is set up our command line prompt so that we can run our script once we have things added to it. To do this, I'm going to need to navigate to my NAND directory that has my NAND.exe. And then I'm going to do something called build, add a command line switch called build file. And we're going to create our script, and it's going to be called simple build. Build. Now this right here is all I need to do in order to actually execute my build script that we're going to build here in a minute. What this does is right here finds the directory where my NANT is, is installed. And here I'm going to specify the build file that I want to run. If I don't specify this, it's going to look for a file called uh, NANT.build. So let's go ahead and get started. NANT is an XML-based uh, system. so. It, if you're familiar with XML, then you will be happy that you can use this. There are a lot of people that don't like XML because they, they think it's very cumbersome and verbose, and I, I tend to agree with that. But Nant is a very powerful tool, so I kind of make exceptions for this. Whenever you have a Nant script, you want to create a project tag. This is your root, and this is what all your code will be put into. And this has a few things I, I want to point out. First is name, and this is just a arbitrary name that you can give it to identify various projects within your script. And then default. This will actually run your def will will say that if no target is provided at the command line, run this target uh, by default. And I'll explain what target is here in a second. So what is a target? A target, and let me just create my, my target real quick. Here's a target. A target is similar to a method. Uh, what you can do within a target is you can specify actions. But the way that NAND works is you need to specify a target to kick off the entire process. And it's entirely possible you can kick off, you can kick your build off by calling one of many targets. In our case, we're going to do a build. And I'm going to remove this end tag here. Now, simply doing this will actually run our will allow us to run, but it won't actually do anything. So if you notice right now, it will actually run. It does nothing. It tells me it did call the build target, but didn't really accomplish a whole lot. The next thing I want to do whenever I set up is I want to create some properties. A property is a way to declare and set variables. And the first, the, we're only going to create a few properties in this episode, and the first one I want to talk about is the solution file property. And I'm actually going to uh, give this image sizer.core.sln. And what this property is, this is a variable or a way to store the name of the solution file that I want to use uh, to compile against. And then the next property I want to create is my, my build configuration. How do I run, want to run this? And I want to run this in debug mode. Okay, so now I've created a few properties. I've got my initial kickoff target. The first thing I want to do today is actually have it clean my source code. So in, to prevent some fat fingering, I'm just going to copy and paste this. So I've got a target here called clean.source. And what clean.source does is it makes a call out to MS build. Now you can also use a contrib project to a NANT 
to actually use or to uh, call Visual Studio directly. I choose to do this way because I want to try to keep the number of dependencies for my build down. Uh, you can do it either way. Let me kind of explain what this is doing. So this is making an exe call, so it's fine doing a command line call out to msbuild.exe. Now, NAND has a bunch of built-in uh, variables and built-in types that knows how to find different things. And some of the things it knows how to find is various target or frameworks, you know, for the .NET. So what I want to do is here is I'm just using you know system commands to go out and find the msbuild.exe, and then at the command line I'm going to give it the solution to compile, which is this variable declared here. I'm going to give it a various switches, so clean, configure, and I'm going to say the configuration I want is debug. Now you're probably asking yourself, why not just simply provide this information in line right here? Well, the reason is I'm going to reuse this information over and over again, and I don't want to have to type this in because when I need to change it or if I want to take a copy of this file and create a new build config, I don't want to find all the places. Which actually leads me to my next things I want to point out. This syntax right here, the dollar sign, uh, cr left curly bracket, value, and right curly bracket, is actually how you use or call a variable. So as you can see, I created the variable up here and actually used the variable. I used this syntax right here. So that's what you're looking at. And I want to echo out a message that when the clean is finished, I actually want this thing to, to print out to the screen that it's done. So let's go ahead and just simply have it so we do a, a uh, clean. Now, because I'm going to call uh, the build target, I want my build to actually depend on something else. Normally what happens is you create a few de uh, dependencies, and those other dependencies may have dependencies as well. So I'm going to say depends on clean.source. And what happens is when build gets called, it will actually first call clean.source before it actually calls whatever build is. And if clean.source had a dependency, it would call that as well. So let's bounce over to our command line and run this one again, see what happens. So I did clean it. So if I had already built this once before and had all the binaries in my output directories, it would actually do a Visual Studio clean and remove all the, uh, all the binaries. Well, the next thing I want to do is actually compile our code. So I'm going to copy and paste this. And I'm going to do a couple small changes here. So instead of doing a clean, I want to change this to rebuild. And I don't want my dependency to be on compile, or on clean, I'm sorry, I want it to be on compile. And I want compile to depend on clean.source. And now I've built my very simplistic bat or NANT file that will do nothing more than compile and clean my source code. Let's run this and see what happens. And as you can see, let me navigate to, uh, let's find something to navigate to and find. So let's do, Now you can see it did create a few files and did compile everything for me just, just nicely. Now, one other thing I want to point out before we end this timecast is that I've provided the command line uh, no default targets. Now what if I wanted to actually specify the target? I don't want it to run build because build will run clean and all that fun stuff or even just run compile. Maybe all I want to do is run the clean. I want to delete the data that's inside of my output directories. Well, to do that, all I have to do is do clean.source and hit enter. And it's going to simply call the clean.source target and do nothing else other than that target and whatever target, whatever dependencies that target has on it. So we can take a look. There's now no directories in my bin directory. So in a matter of a few minutes, we've taken you know, our first look at how to utilize a NAND script, how to use it to simply clean and build our source our source code. In future episodes, like I said, we'll talk about adding tests and code coverages and do things such as uh, running database commands to build and rebuild our databases on every build. So I hope you learned something. Until next time. Mm -hmm.